My name is Wendy. I'm a P4 pharmacy student at the University of Texas College of Pharmacy. And why I got into pharmacy, um, I was always really good at math and science in high school, and this was just kind of a very practical career for me. Uh, my name is Zachary Beal. I'm a P4 pharmacy student at the University of Texas College of Pharmacy. Um, I chose pharmacy because I really enjoyed my chemistry classes in high school, and my father was a dentist, and I saw how he kind of was respected in the town. I grew up in a small town in Shiner, Texas, and I wanted to help people like my dad did as well, so I decided to do pharmacy. Okay, and how do you prepare for pharmacy school? So the nice thing about pharmacy schools is they don't actually require you to have a degree. So what I did was I did three years of undergrad studies, and then I went straight into pharmacy school. Um, I think you might have done something different. Yes, I t decided to get a degree. I actually got my degree from Texas A&M. Um, I got a degree in chemistry. It had a little bit of more interest, like more focus on life sciences, so I took things like anatomy and biochemistry. But either way you can go, um, you can both get into pharmacy school through either route. It's just doing your prerequisites or getting a degree. And before you apply to pharmacy school, they also require you to take your PCAT. Um, that's, you can take it any time before applying to pharmacy school. And it's about a six-hour exam that you sit through. So we both took that as well. Um, you know, Some things you can do to prepare for in college is make sure you take good science classes. Uh, make sure you study hard and get good grades. Uh, you want to talk about some of the things that you did to help you study? Don't start too late. Don't procrastinate. Definitely. Um, yeah. Another thing that helped me was I had to make my own notes um, in class, you know, that helped me follow. I would read the book and kind of make my own handwritten notes in addition to the notes my teacher gave me. Did you do any study groups, study with your friends? I did. We had study groups. Um, we would meet maybe once a week and just kind of go over lecture material. That's also very helpful. Um, so what is really a day in the pharmacy look like? Um, there's a lot of a variety of pharmacy settings you can be in. You can work in a hospital in which you dispense medications, make IV medications for uh, patients. Um, you can do clinical services in which you actually round with physicians and doctors and make recommendations and things like that. Can you talk about retail a little bit? Yeah, so I actually worked in a retail slash compounding pharmacy. So the retail side is where you would see at like a CVS or a Walgreens, you go in, they fill your prescriptions for you, they answer any questions you might have, um, they'll handle your insurance, and then the compounding pharmacy, if that's what you're interested in, you actually get to make prescriptions. So you get to make capsules, you can make tablets, um, it's very interesting. It is very interesting, and, and one day is never the same as the other day. There's always a lot of variety in your day, a lot of problem solving that needs to be done, the time between getting the medication, obtaining it, um, packaging it, getting it to the patient, counseling the patient. There's a lot of steps you have to go through. You have to kind of manage one of, every one of those steps. So right now we're currently on our veterinary medicine rotation, which is very different. So Wendy did her internal medicine part, so she's going to talk a little bit about what she's done so far in her veterinary medicine rotation. So the internal med, um, you kind of deal more with small animals. So there's a lot of dogs, a lot of cats, and the owners will bring in their animals. Um, and you kind of give, ask them what's going on, what problem they have, get a physical examination. And then, if necessary, you know, you'll bring them back, get any diagnostics you need, any imaging, things of that nature, and try to figure out what's wrong with the animal. And that's kind of just their normal day. And they have a couple of appointments per day where they do that for each animal. I spent last week on the zoo service. So what we did on the zoo service is we saw a lot of exotic animals. So we did lots of physical examinations on birds. Um, we had to draw blood so we can get lab values for the birds to see how they're doing, if they're healthy or not. Lots of physical examinations, looking at beaks, wings, trimming nails. There was also several snakes we dealt with in which we examined the snakes. I got to help administer IV fluids to the snakes because they were dehydrated. We also saw a squirrel, and we also had surgery on a rat and a snake. So they were also very interesting things to see as well. So that was a very excellent time for me, an excellent service. So yeah, pharmacy is pretty cool. It is. You can do a lot of things. It's a lot of fun.